Today, we are diving into what I believe is the most iconic horror franchise, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Come to Freddy. This series has haunted our dreams since the 1980s, and I'm excited to break down its top grossing films, how it stacks up against other horror heavyweights, and is there news of a possible new film in the making? Let's dive into it. The Nightmare on Elm Street series featuring the terrifying Freddy Krueger, arguably the best constructed monster of our time. We got special work to do here, you and me. Has captivated audiences for decades. This franchise has grossed around $307 million worldwide across its eight films. That is some serious box office power. Now, the biggest money maker in the series, that would be... Da -da -da -da. It's time to put this bad dog to sleep. Freddy vs. Jason, which is not my favorite of the movies, but certainly was entertaining to watch, had earned a whopping $82.6 million. This crossover film blending the horrors of Elm Street and Camp Crystal Lake was a dream come true for horror fans everywhere. Let's get hot. Next up is the 2010 reboot, A Nightmare on Elm Street, which brought in around $63 million. I thought Jackie Earl Haley did a great job stepping into Freddy's shoes, offering a fresh but chilling take on the infamous slasher. All right, so how does Freddy fare against other horror icons? The Nightmare on Elm Street ranks fourth among the other highest grossing horror franchises. And can you take a guess? Leading the pack is Friday the 13th with over 300 million followed by Saw and then The Exorcist. However, it is clear that Freddy's legacy is in good company. You're big breaking TV. Now, let's talk about my favorite film in the series, which is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So Wes Craven returned to direct this 1994 meta horror film, bringing a fresh twist by blending reality and fiction. The film grossed about $19.7 million globally. Now, while it wasn't the highest grossing film in the series, it was a critical success and has since gained a cult following for its innovative take on the genre. That film is badass, and I still remember to the day seeing that on opening night. Now, what's the future of Elm Street? There's always chatter about another reboot or sequel. While nothing has officially been announced, fans remain hopeful. Given Freddy's iconic status, it's only a matter of time before he claws his way back to the big screen. If you're going to remake this, let's redo 1987 Dream Warriors. <laughs> How ridiculous was that film? I feel like if the concept was done today, assembling a team of Avengers to defeat Freddy would be kind of fire. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> There's no denying the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise has had an incredible run, blending supernatural horror with unforgettable characters. Freddy Krueger continues to be a central figure in the horror genre, even spawning hilarious animated versions like Rick and Morty's Scary Terry. Welcome to the nightmare, bitch! What's your favorite Freddy moment? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow for more horror insights.